Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com. I'm out here with someone from a different walk of life. My name's Karen. I'm a nurse at the local hospital. And today we are continuing that journey of firearms ownership and looking at taking those first shots. Good. Right here, we're set up at about seven yards. You can obviously start kind of any distance, but I have Kit Badger anatomy targets. You can use any targets, but we want to try and refine that point of aim side picture, side alignment. So on there, I have a one inch sticky. What we're gonna start with is we're gonna go ahead and load our magazine of one round and work on taking that first shot round. If you wanna go ahead and do that now. Mm -hmm. All right. We're now gonna take that first shot and in doing so, Side alignment, sight picture, aimed in. We're gonna press all the way through, and when the shot breaks, we're gonna keep the trigger all the way back till we get another sight picture, i.e. we're lined back up on our target with our sights. At that point, we're gonna bring our finger off the trigger. All right, so on you, go ahead and remove the safety since your pistol has one. And slow press to the rear. Nice, good shot. And at this point, our pistol is locked back because there's no more rounds in it, which does two things for us. One, it makes sure that if you are super excited because you just did an amazing shot and the first time you shoot your pistol, you can't accidentally turn around and have a loaded pistol at that point. It gives you the opportunity to learn that control. And the other piece that comes with that is under recoil, if you didn't have your trigger finger or the trigger all the way to the rear and it came out, rather than accidentally firing under recoil a second shot, we alleviate that also by only having that one round in there. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and load that magazine with two rounds. If you wanna remove the magazine. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and load our magazine of two rounds. And this time, go ahead and charge it. This time, you're gonna have that long double action, first trigger pull, because you have a double action, single action. After we break that shot, we're gonna keep the trigger, or keep the trigger to the rear, rather. Get another sight picture. We're gonna consciously let our finger off the trigger. We'll feel it reset. And then we're gonna take that second shot. It's gonna be a lot lighter. It's gonna be single action at that point. We're gonna keep trigger to the rear mm -hmm. till we get another sight picture. And then we're going to consciously Remove our finger. Okay. All right? Yep. So take it off safe and on you. Awesome. Good job. Uh, between those two trigger pulls, one significantly different, right? Yes, very yeah. much. All right, cool. Go ahead and remove the magazine. We're gonna try three rounds now. We now have our magazine to three rounds. And if you wanna go ahead and load that up, we're gonna go through the same thing, except this time, after that first double action shot, you're gonna have two single action shots. Okay. All right, okay. so go ahead and charge your pistol. And when you're ready, take it off safe and go through those first three shots. All right, good job. After that first shot, did you notice yourself kind of readjust your grip some? Yeah. So what happened is you weren't gripping as much with your support hand, okay. and so it broke away from it. Uh. So by clamping and creating pressure with against the side of the frame and then either against the frame or against our shooting hand, okay. we can help mitigate that and keep it from trying to pull away from our grip. Good job on those first three shots.
Thank you. When we take those first shots, we want to shoot on paper because it tells the truth and it gives us feedback. So this was your point of aim, correct? Yes. Okay. And right here, we have some shots going up and we ended up shooting a little bit more, just familiarization with her pistol. What this is indicative of right here though is working through that long double action. These were your shots on that first shot because trying to struggle through a long, relatively heavy double action, which is difficult. But then your follow-up shots, the single action, were really good. And so this is telling of being out here, having this experience, and ultimately gives you things to work on. Cool. But what if we were gonna shoot some rifle? Right now we're gonna take those exact same steps we did with a pistol. So we're gonna take a magazine in one round, go ahead and load that in, make sure it's seated and send the bolt forward. And we're gonna aim in. We're still at about seven yards or so. And when you're ready, you're gonna take it off safe and you're gonna fire that one shot and keep the trigger to the rear till we get a second sight picture. Awesome. Go ahead and put it back on safe for me and remove the magazine. And we're gonna load it up for two. How was that first shot there? Uh, better. Huh? Better, like the, not having the double action easier to fire the first time. Absolutely. This trigger is night and day from that double action. So I'm gonna load it two more rounds. Okay. Right here, we're gonna go through the same thing. Okay you're gonna have a second shot. So we're gonna get that second sight picture. We're going to release, reset that trigger, take that second shot, get a third sight picture, and then go ahead and release the trigger. Okay. Feel it reset. All right. And take it off safe when you're ready. Job, triggers reset when you're ready. All right, and back on safe. But I didn't keep the trigger compressed. You didn't, so you didn't get a third sight picture. Okay. It's all good though, part of the journey. So go ahead and remove that magazine for me. And we'll jam this up with three rounds. Okay. And we're now going to finish up with our magazine of three rounds. And we're gonna end up with four sight pitchers because we're gonna get one for every round fired. And then each time we're laying that trigger, keeping it to the rear, feeling it reset, taking our next shot. And we're gonna keep it to the rear on that last one. Get that last, that fourth sight pitcher before we decide not to fire anymore, at which point we'll put it on safe. So go ahead and send the bolt forward and aim in. And when you're ready, take it off safe and off safe when you're ready, and then fire your shots. Keep it to the rear when you're done. All right, and back on safe. And you can remove the magazine. Right here are Karen's first shots. Again, shooting on paper tells us what's going on. As you and I talked about, these right here are indicative of the height over bore. So this rifle, it's zeroed for 50 yards. We're shooting at about seven yards. So the impact is gonna be low. And then you started adjusting for that and aiming higher, right? Yes. Yeah, so your rounds were moving up. What's really important is shooting on paper for those first shots so we can kind of see what's going on, see where those rounds are going. And also kind of that progression through the magazines, starting with that one round. It allows us to take that first shot and if we're startled for whatever reason, nothing else can happen. We already fired that one round. And if you want to or need to, fire a progression of one round magazines until you get comfortable with sound, recoil, everything like that. At which point, go on to two rounds. 
but it allows us to basically stair step up through that first trip to the range. You have your pistol you've shot on two other occasions, right? This being the third time. Mm -hmm. Have you, you've never shot a rifle before, yeah. right? Mm -mm. Yes. Thoughts on this first experience? Um, it was a little awkward to sight down the barrel at first. Using um, these sights with the rear peep side the and the front post. Using the different sights, yep, mm -hmm. because the ones on the pistol are a lot closer together, whereas, yes. Yeah, so sight rate is totally different. That was very different. Um, holding it's different, um, and I was expecting a lot more of a recoil um, that wasn't there, actually. Oh, so. yeah. Awesome job. But this right here is kind of taking that first trip to the range and taking those first shots. Appreciate you coming out. Sure. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. I can.